Aiming for passive income will ultimately keep you broke. This is because you're missing what is actually gonna give you the freedom that you're looking for in the first place. This is especially true for real estate investors, but also entrepreneurs or really anyone who is looking to replace their income as soon as possible. We're gonna look at a smarter strategy to guide your pursuit for having ultimate control of your time. A strategy that actually leads you towards what you're looking for. If you wanna quit your job this month, this week, this year, I get it. I was uninspired and frankly pretty depressed in my previous job. As I engineered my nine to five, I spent my other time looking for side hustles or different investing strategies to be able to get my money working for me, even though I didn't actually have a ton of money. I had a little bit of time, so that's what I went for. I luckily kind of gravitated towards real estate investing where I spun up businesses like managing an Airbnb business as well as starting other businesses, dealing with non-performing notes. I go into that whole story in a different video, but it also is a way to get your money working passively in the form of investing. Now, investing is going to lead you to the kind of passive income you're actually looking for. So I'm gonna focus on that. But even if you're thinking, wait a minute, I need to earn more income now in order to invest it, stick with me, I'm right there with you. Even though I had spun up management companies to be able to have passive income, even though I had put my money into a duplex, getting rental checks passively, I was still looking at my bank account every month and trying to find those tiny deposits that were coming in as passive income and honestly feeling really emotionally drained. It was defeating because I was looking at the wrong thing. I basically had the wrong mindset. This is because the passive income now mindset, as we'll call it, is gonna keep you in the short-term perspective mindset. And you don't wanna be in the short-term perspective when it comes to finances and building the kind of real wealth that can take care of you in perpetuity. You end up needing that passive income right now. And when the market shifts or something happens in that passive income stream to make it fluctuate or go down, it can be really devastating and disappointing if you're thinking of that you need that income right now. This is all diverging away from your real goal of building that kind of wealth that you want to give you ultimate control of your time. So instead of how am I going to have passive income to pay my bills right now, I want to start to think about how do I multiply my money, then live off the passive income forever. Here's how. What you really need to be thinking about is equity multiple. Now, this is a term that we use in real estate investing a lot, equity multiple, but it can also apply to any business you create. It's basically saying how much money your money is going to grow within X number of years. Your equity multiple is calculated by adding the annual cash flow amounts for the duration of those five years, the proceeds from the sale of that asset, and your original investment amount, and you're gonna get a multiplication number, like 1.8X. So in this scenario, every five years, your money is gonna grow by 1.8X. Let's look at some real numbers, cause that's hard to understand. Okay, so in year one, you invest $20,000. Now, over the course of that five years, we're gonna multiply that by 1.8X. By year five, you're at $36,000. Pretty good return. Now consider, this keeps growing every five years, every multiplying. This is compounding, right? Year 10, 64,800. Year 15, over 100K. Year 20, you've got $209,950. This is the power of the equity multiple, and it's much more important to focus on instead of the passive income you get throughout those five years chunks of time. This multiply our money mindset means that we're investing or building a passive income stream with zero intention to use it for at least five to seven years. Now, that might seem like a long time from those people that are like, I wanna quit my job right now today, but trust me, it goes by really quick. In fact, I run through the numbers of like, what could you do with just five years of investing in terms of building your net worth? And I'll link to that video above here. But if you can wait just those five years, you're able to use the equity multiple number to be able to decide how much passive income you want to use. Now, keep in mind that if you use all of your returns, you can't reinvest that. So you're not gonna take advantage of the compounding snowball effect of investing, but you have more flexibility and more reliability that you're gonna use that amount because it's actually in your hands as opposed to 
thinking you're going to get it every year based on the projected ideas of what your passive income is going to do. Let's look at two different ways that you can get to that equity multiple. So first, you can have a small amount of cash flow every year, right? But huge proceeds from the sale of an asset plus that original investment and you get that 1.8x equity multiple. This is really common in investing in multifamily apartment buildings through syndication, my favorite form of passive real estate investing, because you're not getting as much cash flow as we renovate each unit, as we make improvements on the property, as we add that value. But then at the end, the proceeds from the sale and often those annual returns towards the end of that five-year hold period are quite awesome. Now, another scenario that could get you to your equity multiple could look something like lots of cash flow every year with only small proceeds from the sale of the asset plus that original investment amount. And that's going to get you to your 1.8x equity multiple. Now, I found in my investing in just passive income search that if I'm getting those higher amounts of cash flow early on, I'm actually going to get a lower equity multiple in the end. And that's because I am putting less risk in the future of that investment, right? I'm saying that I'm, an, I'm willing to take on less risk. That's because to get more reliable income throughout the life of our investment or whatever thing we're doing to generate the passive income, we're often sacrificing potential for growth on the back end. So what is the best way to think of passive income here? Because we all want it, myself included. I want to go on river trips with my family. I want to run up and down mountains or just take a nap. Instead of passive income, we're thinking about equity multiples. We want that how to multiply our money mindset and then live off the passive income in perpetuity. This could look something like this chart we see here. Now, keep in mind, this is proceeds plus cash flow, and we're ignoring it for those first five years. In year six, we have $17,000 to play with, right? You can choose to reinvest some of that, or you can keep it compounding and growing over time because that's going to grow rather quickly, as we can see in this chart, to something like even $55,000 at the end of the next five-year cycle or in year 11 at this point. That's a lot more money that is actually in your hands to be able to use for your living expensive as passive income than depending on it regularly throughout the life of that investment. But having the equity multiple mindset is not going to be enough to get you towards your long-term goals because you need to be able to keep this up for the long term. Let me explain. In this next video I point to, it is gonna show you the power of just five years of investing. So sticking with this goal for just five years and what that can do to your net worth. So make sure you check out that video next.